Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. Well, today is Tuesday the 14th of December 2021 and it's about 1030 in the morning. I look at these things on my computer and here and there. I'm still not real comfortable with all this, but everything out there is just a little disorganized. So I'm going to need another few more tubs. So, welcome. I do cross stitch, diamond painting, beaded cross stitch, counter cross stitch. So, welcome. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And let's get started. So, this is my hundred, how do you say that? Hundred and second floss tube. And we got a lot to go over. I have my Christmas cup. Yay! Just coffee today. I got to go to work today from 2 to 9 unless they decide that the windows have come in. Last Wednesday, one of the windows came in, so we closed at 8 o'clock. So it's all up in the air. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to thank Miss Gabrielle in Switzerland. I'm not. She lives in Switzerland, and this is the kit that she won on my channel, and she had finished it, and she made it into her Christmas card. So, I will be putting this up on my, my, uh, my cork board over here, and that is so beautiful. Isn't that cute? I know, I'm sorry about the glare. I can't seem to get it where it doesn't glare. There we go. But it's the Skating Santa. So thank you very much, Miss Gabrielle. I think it's Gabriella. Sorry. Names. Words are hard today. Let's see. What else? Oh, and thank you for everybody that has bought me coffee within the last couple of weeks. I know I have I am just been really bad at remembering things and stuff so hang in there guys we're going to get through december one way or another honest honest to goodness so i was kind of busy last week but yet not busy i don't know just trying to be busy so let's get started here i have to get things out of the way molly's over here she's right molly most. She's just not real happy. Hey. I'm sorry. There she is. She's next to Sydney. Sorry. Okay, now that I've made everybody totally dizzy. So, so sorry. All right. Let's get started with this. So last week I worked on my little wreath and I'll take the plastic or pull it up so you can see how much I did get done with oh I almost got it caught in my hair that would have been just special wouldn't it so I'm about uh, a little over half way done because I'm doing it like on a slant because this is a round piece of plastic so just a little bit at a time and it'll be done so let me put that away somewhere so nothing happens to it. And, oh, goodness gracious, things. I didn't work on too many things. What can I say? I worked on this Victorian house. Did that for the live, and I also did a stitch with me with this one. I love this. It's just so beautiful. Let's see if I can get it out of its bag. Keeping everything else there. But I'm working on this rooftop up here. More so than anything. So I'm working my way down to the house. But that's all I've got. And there's just a little bit right there where I started. And then I started the other roof since I had some excess. It's like the... Right up in here. So I didn't get too much of it done. Just a little bit at a time. My fingers have been kind of sore. It's not 
my fingers, it's where I keep jamming the needle in and not remembering to put my thimble on. So, wear a thimble. It'll get you further. And let's see. Well, I've got two things here. I also worked on my Peking lady. That's what we're going to call her. Isn't she pretty? Look at all those different colors. Just gorgeous. So, I worked on it for a couple of days. But I got this part over here finished. Up to here. I didn't go backwards. I just kept going to finish. And then, I've been working on the top of her headdress. And part of it is covered with a with a parasol. Where is it? Up here. I have to look at it right side up. It's like a parasol that covers it here and a parasol that covers it here. So, just a little bit at a time. You can kind of see how much I have and haven't gotten done. Some of the colors are really light, so they're not showing up. I'm just picking one symbol and going for it. But, yeah. So, I'll continue to work on it this week if I can hang on and let's see what else we got I'm just trying to lay everything out hang in there and this one I worked on the earlier part of the week when I had nothing else to work on so it's coming along But these will be my winter projects. You can see how much I've gotten done there. So I'm working on the tree. So it goes like this. Although when I turn it over, you really can't see too, too much. But we're getting into the tree and part of this sky. If I can show you. The sky right here next to the tree. So, yeah. I like this one because it's not very big. And I think I have to look here. Hang on. Give it two seconds here. I can't shove all that down there and have everything come out right. Let's see. Oh, and I did my butterfly chime. It's all the way across the room. That's the one thing I did finish this week. So that is just about, that's all I've worked on. I, I just have not, maybe I'm not totally well. I don't know. I'm just tired and things just seem jumbled. I don't know why I feel like I'm so, like I've got so much to do that i got to hurry up and do it. You know, that. Hustle bustle during Christmas stuff. You know, it, it. I don't know why I feel like this. Yesterday I went to Walmart with my daughter. I went to work and I got my Christmas bonus from work. And they really didn't need me yesterday because it's Monday and usually things are not busy once you get past Sunday and everybody goes home and everybody has to go to work on a normal basis. So. My boss let me have the day off, so my daughter and I went to Walmart. We were supposed to go after work, but we had changed plans again. I mean, we've been changing, changing, changing plans. Man, no. So, we just went yesterday, and I got a few things, like, for the dinner and stuff, and my daughter's going to handle the cream puffs for... The tea that we're having on Saturday. So, yeah. Exciting stuff. And that is all I worked on all week. I did... One, two, three, four. I did five different reviews. So you would think that that would have been busier. But I only started a couple projects. I'm trying not to start too many projects. Like, every time I do a review, start a project. Because this is getting insane. So, I'm just trying to back it out just a little bit. And, you know, I end up 
me, well, I wanted to start the Peking Lady because I've been looking at that kit for, gosh, months, you know, and it was on my list to get anyway, so I wanted to get it started. So, yeah, I don't know. It it's, doesn't seem possible that Christmas is in a week and a half-ish. Yeah, we just, yeah. And then the kids will be out of school. I think she said they had to go Monday and Tuesday. And then they're off until like January 5th or some crazy amount. So, yeah. Stuff is happening. But I think we about got Christmas in hand and don't need to buy anything for Christmas stuff like for food or for the gifts she's got all of her family taken care of and that's basically all she really wanted to get done so yeah that that's the the gist of the whole plan now that doesn't sound too busy does it see when I say all that it doesn't sound busy at all it just feels like I'm uh, we just need to calm down a little bit and just take a little slower but I will be working on the kits that I showed you today for the rest of the winter season you know it's not gonna matter whether or not it's a Christmas thing it's still they're still winter things so yeah so we have a drawing oh and about the drawing I will not be able to ship to Australia they won't let me ship anything from United States. I don't know if this is the same in y'all's countries. You know, over there. I can ship any place else. You know me. I will ship all over the world. But they told me that they have, they've closed the country to any kind of mailing. So, yeah. And if you do want to mail something and it has to get there, it is an exorbitant amount. It's almost two hundred dollars to ship a package. I mean, that's just the starting point because it has to go on some kind of guaranteed thing. I don't know how to explain it, but no, we're not going there. So, Miss Robberry won one of my my uh, kits. So I will be hanging on to it until the country opens, and then I will ship it to her. I'm not sure when that will be. They have not given me any kind of date or anything. So I I have no idea. But for right now, I if you live in Australia, please do not put your name into any of my drawings because I will not be shipping. So, But any other country and United States, Canada, Mexico, wherever, I can ship. It's just Australia, and I have no idea. They're not going to tell me what's going on or why. So, typical, you know. So, anyway, let's get on to this week's drawings. And then I have a special thing I'm going to be shipping. All right. Hang on. I got to get... And if you won last week, I will be shipping them out this week. Not because I had to wait for money. So, and I don't think I'll make it to the post office today. But on Thursday, I will ship everything out. So, okay, the first one is the winter one by Joy Sunday. And please only enter your name like put one comment and say that you want you know you can put your name into both I mean if I have two that doesn't bother me but if you put your name in like like three or four comments other than saying well I want winter or I want the cupcakes if you do that more than the same thing over and over, I will just delete your name and you will not be in the drawing. That That's just, you know, the way it is. So this is the winter one. So I have 
winter in my little tumbly bowl. Thank goodness I don't need it for jello. I do have an extra one. So, yay! So, for the winter one, and thank you for your understanding. I'm sorry, I just have to have a few rules. Just a few rules. All right. I have one. Making sure it's one. Put the lid on because stuff happens all the time, Delora. The winner of the winter one is Angela Gray. Angela Gray. So, Angela, if you can send me your shipping address. My email is in the description box below. And I will get that out this Thursday, if at all possible. Hopefully, that will happen. So, the next one, I kind of have to move up. I always end up putting the uh, threads in the front, and then you can't see the picture. Crinkle time. Okay, the next one is for the cupcakes. They're so cute. And you could just doll those up with all kinds of beads and whatever other kinds of ornaments you have. I think it's cute. I have a little bitty, what do you call it? I don't know how big that's going to be. But I have a little bitty gingerbread man. And he's only about like that big. And he's made of wood, you know, real fine. I don't know if it's balsa wood or what. But somebody had made. But they would look so cute on those. If you did this on like 14 or an 11 count. I don't know how big the the things will be. But, yeah. But you can add all kinds of stuff. This is the one for cupcakes. Shake it up there. Alright. I have a name. Put the lid on because stuff happens. The winner is Hades Squeaky Chinchilla. And I don't know if that's how you say it. If it's Hades or Hades. It looks like Hades. Hades Squeaky Chinchilla. You have won the cupcake pattern. So, everybody's name. So, Hades and Angela. If you can get in touch with me, then I will ship those out. So next week for the giveaway, the week before Christmas, I'm going to be giving away this one. It's a DIY, and it is, I have to look, it's an 11 count. I'm looking, I'm looking. Beautiful colors. And it is 40 by 40. I can't figure out. It's this way. So it's not very big. It's about a 30 by 30. All said and done. But it's really pretty because it's up close. See how close the picture is? So I know it'll have some kind of definition. So if you are interested in this one and you'd like to be considered, put the word Santa or use Santa in a in a sentence. Put that in there. And the other one I promised that I would give away at Christmas time. Let me lay that right there. Stop crinkling. Is this one. It's the Santa flying over all the houses with the reindeer and they're going up past the moon. What else is up there? Just that. Let me take the picture out. It is a 53 by 70. It's a huge one. It is an 11 count. This is what the picture looks like. Let me fold it down a little bit. Irritating, right? Isn't that cool? It is just so awesome. It's a big, huge one. So I will be giving this one away next week. Oh my goodness. 
And let me tell you, I don't... Crap. I was going to tell you how many colors it has. It has... can't see it. It's kind of tiny. But this is big. This is your big... Big thing. There's the picture. It comes with 41 colors. So, if you would like to be considered for this one, please put the word slay in the description box, or in the comment section. Slay for that one, and Santa for this one. And I will put you in the drawing for next week. Hang on. trying to get it down, but there's all the beautiful colors, lots of blues and reds. I'm going to take it out because it'll make a noise again. So, it is 204 by 278, 53 by 70 centimeters. It is beautiful. And that might be my Christmas Day start. Alright, I think that's going to be it. Slay and Santa for the drawing for next week. Hades and Angela get a hold of me through my email, which is below. Thank you all for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see how much we can get done this week. Never can tell. It either happens or it doesn't happen. So, it just seems like I'm slowing down on stitching, but my finger's been bugging me because I really jammed that needle in there. So I haven't been doing much sewing. That's why I diverted to a diamond painting this past week. But I appreciate each and every one of you coming. There will not be a live this Saturday because I'm going to have my Christmas tea with my grandchildren and my daughter. So I will see you next week for the live. And we'll also have a floss tube on Tuesday of next week. And in between, we'll fill in the gaps. So stay tuned. You never know what's going to happen around here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.